Hello, YouTube community. My name is the Jackie with 13, and come back here, title screen. There we go. We are at Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duels of the Roses, episode five. On the bottom of my computer screen, I have a uh, list of topics to talk about for the moments when I actually come really dull and stop talking in general. Then on the left-hand side of the screen, I've got a list of different uh, fusions that I could do, and uh, each time I uh, need a fusion, I'll just check out that side of the screen. In fact, each time I have a monster, I'll check out that side of the screen. And I tried to do it earlier, and it failed, but I think that's because I fucked up the fusion. So what we're going to do is try it again another time, and uh, fight this dumbass Weevil Underwood here, and uh, yeah, it's going to be great stuff. So we're going to head let this uh, move up, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take some stuff away. Move up, what the fuck am I talking about? Load is what I meant. Alright, uh, we're going to let it load, I'm going to take some stuff, put it back in the Witch McCollum, and then I'll come right back, join you guys again for some more. Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright, I am back and now we're going to go ahead and uh, start the move. So, summon what do we have? We have Fairy of the Fountain, Magic Jammer, Takuhi, Fiend Sword, and Three-Legged Zombies. I don't know who that is out there, but it looks like a very large family. So, I have a Warrior, a Winged Beast, a Zombie, and an Aqua. So, we'll check our list of... Uh, Things that we can combine and uh, get back to you guys. All right, we're back, and uh, I'm not going to be doing this all the time. I'm just going to be doing it some of the time, and by some of the time, I mean like for the first couple of fights before I figure out what the actual you know stuff is. So apparently, Aqua doesn't seem to like to work with anybody, so we won't be combining that. But I think Wing Beast and Warrior should go quite well together. So, we'll try that. They're two very high level monsters, and I'm not sure if I want to lose them though. So, I think it's supposed to go Winged Beast, and then the Warrior. But hopefully, that will work. So, go ahead and summon it. And they went together. Worked. Great. And it makes Punished Eagle, which is a very high level monster. And, uh, can I move it over here? It does not seem to be affected if I move it over there. Cool. So, I just wanted to check that out. I like to put down Mag Magic Jammer, but not right now. So we'll go ahead and uh, and turn because I have nothing, no other moves that I can do. Go ahead and let this dude do his turn. This dude do his turn. I love how he always moves to the right side. So I think I understand his pattern a little bit. Let's see what we can do. Okay, we'll set one right there. I apparently can't do those guys. Three-legged zombies. This is another aqua. It has an effect. What is the amoebus effect? It makes all adjacent spaces into sea spaces when destroyed in battle. And I have Komori Dragon there. Okay, cool. So, let's see. Um, where's Red-Eyes Black Dragon? You can make Red-Eyes Black Dragon with Komori Dragon and another dragon, but I can't remember what it is. Doesn't seem to want to tell me. Apparently, this is not a all-inclusive list because there are things here that. Oh wait, there, there it is. Okay, so it's up here. I have to continue looking. There are other options apparently. Cool. Didn't know that. Let's see. I still do not see Red Eyes Black Dragon though. Okay, that's a little weird, because I remember just watching somebody do Red Eyes Black fucking Dragon. And now you're telling me that I can't find Red Eyes Black Dragon? I don't know about this. Let's see, let's see, continue looking, and I don't see it. I don't see it anywhere on here. Fuck it. Okay. So, just place down a Magic Jammer? No. What type of this? It's a full range. Okay, so we'll just place it next to me. Magic Jammer, right there. Fuck it. We're gonna move it over to this side because, you know, wh who gives a shit? It can go wherever. And I wanted to get it out of the area where I can summon monsters and stuff. So, 
Go ahead and move yourself into a fucking corner, you imbecile. Alright, no, we don't want to see that anymore. So, summon some more Pokemans. I mean, uh, yeah. Okay, so. What can work with this card? I have no cards that can work with it. That's cool. I can't use Black Pendant right now, anyway. So. Okay, can I put zombies with anything? Zombie and a dragon should create a dragon zombie. Um. I don't think that's going to be very beneficial to me, so I won't do that. Um, because Zombie Dragon only has 1600 attack and zero uh, defense, which is not too much better than Komori. Okay. Alright, so. Here's what we'll do Does it have to be in attack mode? Oh, it's upon destruction. Okay, so. We'll set this down here. Move it to right there. Because it doesn't have anything then at that point. So then we shall. Oh shit. No, I don't want to do that. I can't fuck with it. Okay, never mind. I'll put it in defense mode, in uh, defense position next turn. I can only do whatever. Okay, what an idiot. Just got rid of one of his cards. Can I check it out? Can I check out which card it was? I wanna check out which card it was. Okay. So Taku he is gone apparently. And so is Fiend Sword. Oh yeah, because I made the wish call. So Kamutoko was what he got rid of. Can I see? Details please. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I guess that's a good Pokemon. Uh, no, <laughs> I keep calling Pokemon. I guess that's a good thing to get rid of then, because he doesn't really matter. Okay. So then we shall check and see what we can place here. Wait, what the fuck? Are these mountains? No, these are forests. Okay. And Spirit of the Winds is a spellcaster. Okay, spellcasters can go with dragons. Oh, but I don't want to do that, because that doesn't do anything for me. Uh, let's see what else they can go with. An Aqua and a Spellcaster, maybe? I don't know. Let me check. Thunder and a Spellcaster, they can go together, but I don't have a Thunder. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't think they can go with many things either. Uh, no, I'm not going to be doing the Zombie and Spellcaster. Um, oh, Dragon and Aqua, maybe, might be a good one. No, never mind. It does not look like it would be a good one. Um, the 2250 attack is a decent amount. Um, I don't know about that. You know what? Fuck it. The worst thing I have is this level 1600 monster on the field. Um, no, sorry. I wanted to see if this card can power you up. It cannot. So we'll go ahead and do Dragon and Aqua, right? Yeah, that's what it has to be. Enter and summon enter. Yes! Alright, I think I got it. I think this thing showed me what to do. Okay. Seek King Dragon. Okay. Nice. So I got two level high, high level monsters on the field. Which is good. Okay. I'll move this bad boy over to here. Move this bad boy. No, I don't want to move him off, do I? Yeah, yeah. No. We won't move him up. And we'll move him into defense position. No, defense position. Uh, we'll leave Magic Jammer where it is because it has full range. It can do whatever the fuck it wants. And these two are good. Cool. And turn. So I have some pretty high level monsters on the field. And I think things are starting to look up in my favor. Now I just need to get uh, ahead. And win. Okay. Summon monster. Fairy Witch. Wait a minute, I forgot to check these things. In fact, all Queen of Autumn Leaves cards are strengthened by 500. I don't have any Queen of Autumn Leaves cards though, so I don't think that helps. Oh, the terrain makes it go up. Cool. Okay. Spellcaster doesn't go with anything, right? I don't think so. Okay. 
Maybe it does. I don't know. Let's check to see. Zombie does not go with a spellcaster. Yeah, spellcaster only goes to dragons and female, apparently. Okay. Yeah, so I can't do that. And this isn't an all-inclusive thing, but it has a lot of them. So I shall use that to my best advantage. So I guess that's a plant. Okay. Go ahead, lay that down in defense position, and uh, end the turn. Now we're looking pretty decent, I think, with our uh, monsters on the field. So... Go ahead and do that. Yeah. So on its death, Amoeba makes the Wishable Column turn into a sea area. So any surrounding area is now sea, which I think is going to be pretty good for me because I have a uh, water Pokemon. Not Pokemon. God damn it, I did it again. A water monster nearby. That is freaking scary. Look at that breath. Fuck that Amoeba up. Damn, dude. Alright, however, we did put that at a wasteland area. And because it's a bug, I don't think that it's good for bugs. I think the wasteland fucks it over. So it's going to have less attack than what it normally would, I think. Maybe not. But now that's all C. Which is good. Okay, Javelin Beetle Pact. Magic Jammer, however, has been activated, so it says fuck you. So, um, aha, yes, perfect. I did do something correct for once. So we'll go ahead and summon a monster of some sorts. Okay, it's another Aqua. Okay, so, what if I decide to move this here, like so, and then decide to move this here, like so, attack the shit out of it, and fuck it over? How does that sound? It would lose 700 attack points. It would lose by 700 attack points, rather. So that should be pretty decent for me. Look at that attack. I just shoot a shit ton of water at it and say, fuck it, drown it in the water. Look at that. Okay. Enjoyable. That was nice. So I got the first attack on the game that matters, because the other one that he did actually helped me fuck him over. Nice. Okay. I think I'm starting to get the hang of it now, thanks to a lot of help. But since he is in a good position... We have Spirit of the Winds, which is a spellcaster. Fuck. Um, it was not what I thought it was. I thought it was a water type. Or aqua rather type. So, we'll take it out of there later on. Um, that's right where it needs to be. This is pretty close to where it needs to be. I think we're good. End turn. I did a good amount of damage to his life points that turn. And I'm very proud of it. Okay, so move this thing out, this way, just like that, okay, we'll summon another monster into the sea area here, where Water Girl will be powered up, but this is a spellcaster, which doesn't combine with anything, never mind, um, no, sorry, <laughs> I was trying to combine stuff that it doesn't combine. Oh, so Black Pendant would go with this. Okay. Whereas, it will not go with that. Okay. Seems legit. So, we're not going to use Black Pendant on Fairy Witch. But what we will do, sorry. What we will do is we'll summon Aqua Girl, place her down like that. And I think that'll be all that we need to do. 
So we'll end our turn. Okay, I tried to combine them. It didn't work. What a dumbass. I have topics I forgot to talk about. Okay, Michael. Time to actually become a commentator. So, I'm not sure if I explain this. I will now. Um, yeah, go ahead and move it to the sea. Fuck it. While we play the game, I will try to explain what's been going on. Okay. So I can't really do anything. What I will do, though, is I will red medicine up. Just like that. Alright, so uh, I'm not sure if I explained this in one of my earlier videos, but I will now. Um, I've been gone for a little while. I think I mentioned it. And I just want to make sure that you guys know. The reason why I was gone, I had a week in which I decided to um, basically spend to myself. And so that was the first week of summer. That ended up combining, which is scary as fuck because I got no clue what it's going to be. But I don't think it should be too bad. Anyway, so the first week I spent to myself. Okay. It's going to go well. Nice. And then the second week, which was this week, um, I had work. I went on Monday and Friday to colleges, which isn't really work. But, you know, I had that to do, so I didn't have time to do anything else. On oh, Monday and Tuesday, or Monday and Friday. And then Tuesday through Thursday, I had volunteer hours at the school where I went for uh, elementary and middle school. They have summer programs there, and I was basically like a counselor. So I was gone because I spent some time to myself, and then I had time to uh, volunteer and spend with others. I have a few plans on what to do with this channel, but nothing too, you know, hard-pressed right now that I need to do it right now. I have no games uh, that I want to play. But let me check this thing out. What does this thing just do? What is its effect? A movement. It cannot move. The nature effect, however, it transforms it into Puma of Maul. If the card survives five turns in face up defense position, after being flipped face up by the controlling player, if destroyed prior to transformation, the card is revived as Larvae Maw from its own summoning area other than the current location. Cannot go further. Okay. Um. It has fucking 2,500 defense. Fuck that. Uh, you can keep it. Uh, I know it's going to be pretty powerful, but fuck it. I'm not going to try and fight that shit. Uh, what, can, what a magician, huh? I wonder. How much boost it could get. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think I've seen this one yet. Yes, yeah, so we'll go ahead and try and... Place this thing down. Oh, wait the fuck? Um, apparently it cannot live in the forest. That's good to know. Um, I want to know why. I would like to know why. Is there special information? No. I don't know why that just died. There's there's nothing there. Is there something face up that needs to be destroyed? I guess not. Okay, whatever then. Um, we'll just have to deal with that. And we shall move this into defense position, like so. This thing could be fine. Should be fine, rather. Uh, can we not attack? Alright, fine then. I won't do anything with it. Fine, fuck it. What's this here? This is my punished eagle. If I move it forward, it doesn't change. Okay, that's the end of the turn. So I have no games that I really plan on playing, um, except for this one. This is probably going to be a maiden one. I might go back to doing Smackdown Touch Your Mouth because I don't have another series going on. Um, like I said, with the Road to 20, I had to cancel it. It's not going well for me at all. I don't like it. So we're getting rid of it. Sorry. If you enjoyed it, I know that 
Uh, one of my friends enjoyed it, but I, I can't get into it anymore. I tried, can't commentate over it. Can't commentate period anyway, but I, I just couldn't par commentate on that especially. Because for some reason it just didn't seem right to me. Um, I would try and try and try and it just, things wouldn't come out right. So that series is done. At the very least I got to round 20 on one map. So you guys got to see that. And I think in of itself that's pretty good. Um, not a whole lot to uh, brag about to the friends back home. But it's something I did. Something I'm proud to say that I did. And uh, I can look back and say, alright, this is what I did wrong. This is what I did right. And see if that will affect anything. But I'm still bound for destroying it. I guess that's one of its effects. Okay. So. Um, next week, I planned on doing a lot of recording. I don't know if I can. Oh shit. What the fuck? Whatever damage inflicted. Okay, cool. I like that card. I guess I can't. Hmm. I wonder. No, I'm not going to do that. That's stupid. Um, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to move. Let's summon another card, though. I'm, I'm fearful to summon another card here. Because of what happened the last time. Hmm. Okay, I guess... We'll just throw this fucker out here, see if that works. No, it doesn't. 